Hello everyone, my name is Anton Starsky. In this video I'm going to tell about the rubber Zauer and Roger Hipster. At 1.1 mm sponge and its medium pips. I tried an off blade by Inhe. It doesn't consist carbon and is very soft as for attacking blades. I'm going to speak about 1.1 mm. 1.5 and 1.9 mm differ in game. In two words, this rubber provides maximum control. It's very comfortable to hit the table with it. But it is not very disruptive for an opponent either. If you are looking for highly disruptive medium pips, Hipster is a wrong choice. In that case, you may try Inhe Pluto Euro. Or some Dr. Neubauer medium pips, Aggressor and KO series. Or flashback by Der Material Spezialist. Firstly, I noticed is the speed of Hipster, it is slow. Really slow. When trying, I made many mistakes when wanted to serve return or serve shortly. So my balls flew in the middle of the net. In other words, I undershoot the ball to an opponent's side. It's neither advantage nor disadvantage. But it was unusual and uncomfortable to me, as I got used to higher speed. This one is slow and I couldn't play with it. And it requires other technique. But I managed to shoot a video. Hipster has a good grip as for medium pips. Short pips have weaker grip than pips in. And medium pips have weaker grip than short pips. In general, Hipster probably has the best grip among medium pips. So because of low speed and high grip with Hipster 1.1 mm, it's too easy to hit the table. Especially in drives pushes, blocks and top spins like backhand banana. But opponent often has enough time and it's comfortable for him to attack. Firstly, I tried to put it on soft off minus blade. It was easy for an opponent to play heavy top spins. It was bad for me as I couldn't play with such a slow grippy medium pips. And I think off minus is not enough speed for offensive play near the table with hipster 1.1 mm. So I put hipster on harder blade with off speed. This blade I found better for it. As you can see, opponent either scores or misses. So it's at some point more disruptive. I want to highlight that most of attacking blades are harder than this one. So hipster will be more disruptive on them. If you try this rubber but want more disruption, you can buy in Heploto Euro 1.2 mm. I put on both rubbers on both sides and found out they are really alike. The speed and senses are the same, but Pluto has less grip, so there is less spin but more disruption. Blocks, drives, smashes are very controlling with hipster. A few words about pushes in short game. When you want to direct the ball in an uncomfortable for an opponent point. On the one side, due to the low speed, the control is high. On the other, the pips are quite grippy, comparing to other medium or long pips. If you want to push incoming spin, it would be harder if to compare to less grippy pips. Good control is a key element of this rubber. Backhand banana is good, and if you play it properly, it will be great. If you want just to hit the table, be ready to block, because opponent will be more likely to top spin. I suppose blades slower than off minus will not suit playing hipster 1.1 mm near the table. It's too slow. Too slow balls will not win the game. Sometimes you need to smash against high ball. Sometimes, in fast, short game, you need to block shortly or push and direct it in the empty spot for opponent to miss. It's quite difficult to do on off minus, but I didn't also get used out to the speed. It'll be easy with practice and it'll be a disaster with even slower blade and quite good with off blade. At the same time, as you see, it's a combined style not per off style. 
when you often give an initiative and block. Hipster is quite heavy in weight. That's why it's a contrast to light Pluto Euro 1.2 mm. Let's conclude. Hipster 1.1 mm is a slow medium pips with a great grip. It will suit you if you want to play tactical combined table tennis. Like if you play aggressively forehand, block backhand, push and do slow short top spin when needed. And if an opponent returns, you attack more heavily or smash. In other words, this rubber will suit those who prefer maximum control, who like to direct a ball precisely, mix slow and fast game, mix blocks and top spins. Hipster can be disruptive at last, but I recommend you to forget about it and focus on controlling the ball to direct it in an uncomfortable for an opponent place. So disruption is rather an unexpected advantage, but don't rely on it too much. You can also try to defense with hipster 1.1 mm. If you want to change defense into attack and you don't like long pips, this rubber may suit you, or may not, but you can spin or weaken incoming spin. So someone may like it in aggressive defense. Due to its slow speed, you can chop backhand on attacking blades of any speed, even on off plus. Can't say about softness and senses though, as ball on 1.1 mm comes up to the wood. So you feel blade more, so it'll be much harder than 1.5 mm. Hipster is not hard and not soft. It has average softness. At last I want to remind that we make videos to help you avoid trying lots of rubbers and blades when you are looking for a desirable one, as it takes lots of time and efforts. So if you need help when choosing table tennis equipment, Contact TT Maximum Shop. We'll gladly help to choose the right equipment.